So this is how we're going to age uh, paper. Could be a map, could be a scroll, could be anything you want to give an old time sort of look to. So what I've done here is I've prepared one sink um, with leftover paint. So any bottles that were halfway full, uh, you can mix up a chromatic gray by, you know, your uh, red, blues, and yellows and just kind of mixing them together or some browns, some blacks, but I just use some acrylics that are watered down quite a bit and then added to some water and I make sure it's stirred really well. The trick to doing this is being fast. Um, you have to dunk the whole map under the water and then quickly wrinkle it up into a tight ball uh, and then you squeeze it at the sink. Then we take that and go to a second sink um, where we run some water over our hands that'll get any dye off of our hands and give it one last squeeze um, at, that, at that second sink. If you only have one sink you can use a large tub for the ink and then one sink for washing. So as I go through this it's going to be very fast. Um, if you leave it under the water for more than three seconds it's probably going to start to tear and um, get ruined. Um, so I'm going to put it under very quickly and I'm just going to, once I get it on the surface of the water, I'm going to push it under as fast as I can. So, one, two, three seconds, out. Now, above the water, I crumple it. I'm doing it kind of slow because, as you can see, sometimes water will squirt out. If it comes out too fast, it'll just burst through um, the paper. Now, a few rips are okay. I give it a good squeeze, shake my fist. Then I'm going to the second sink. And in this sink, I just run my hands under the water. That will take all the dye off. And if I want to give it one last squeeze, the last bit of water out I can, once again, turn it off. And then I bring it back to uh, the area I'm working. You need a second piece of dry paper underneath your map or your uh, paper that you want to age and then you very carefully open it up. Um, it wants to rip, so you wanna look at it from all sides and try to very carefully open it up. And don't get freaked out by rips. Rips will happen, you just wanna avoid having giant rips. Okay. You also don't wanna lift it up and shake it, you just kinda of wanna open it by hand slowly. corners slowly. It's when you rush that you get most of the rips. Now we did our designs with a bit of a, a ruler width on the edges so we know that's the area that's going to get the most rips. And then our border design went inside of that. Now once you have it fairly open you want to use your hands and just kind of pat down lightly from the center outward. And this will start to kind of flatten it out. Now some people actually like it with the rips and the folds and stuff so that's that's okay to kind of leave it like this but if you want to get it as flat as possible we can use an ink brayer which is usually used to spread ink um, but we're going to use it here as a way to flatten our work. And again you don't put a lot of pressure we're just using the weight of the brayer and going out from the center to the sides. Very slowly, I'm putting no pressure on it, just using the weight of the brayer. Going out to the corners, the middles. <clears throat> just the weight of the brayer again. Once it's pretty flat, then you can actually apply some pressure. So now I'm gonna apply some pressure going out. Not a lot of pressure, just about, you know, the, the weight of my hand on the brayer. I don't want to iron out all of the wrinkles because then why put them in there? Um, but this does give it that look of parchment. Okay. Very good. And we have our aged map or aged artwork. And then the reason we have that second piece of paper is it makes it easier to carry. And then this can go into a drying rack and it's all set. It'll take about uh, an afternoon to dry. Right. So uh, that's our process for aging an artwork to look like it's from the 14 to the 1600s.